Hey y'all, um, just want to give you an update on uh, doing some electrical work on the kitchen. Um, I need to run power to a box right here and um, what I'm planning on doing is jumping a wire from, from this light switch to over here. This, uh, this is going to be the um, control for the under the cabinet um, LED lights. Um, I'll have a control here and on the other side of the kitchen, um, but I want to be able to um, run power to this controller, um, and it takes um, 110 uh, voltage, so um, there's 110 in here, uh, but uh, to get it over here, there's actually a stud, so I need to actually uh, drill a hole um, somewhere in this area and uh, fish a line through here and then create power to this spot. Um, I cut a hole out right now for um, for the box, and I had to use a, um, a shallow box because I actually have a water line right in here. Um, so it fits right in there. And so I was kind of concerned about this pipe being here, but um, once I have the tile mounted uh, to this, it'll actually bring this box out even more so it won't cause any issues with uh, fitment. Um, so that, that's the plan for right now. I just need to actually cut a hole, I think, right in here and, uh, and then fish some wire through and uh, leave it ready for when I actually mount up that controller. I'm not going to do it right now, but I just want to do the rough end for it. So um, that's what I'm working on right now. Before you do any electrical work, make sure that you're uh, uh, testing the work, testing the uh, circuit, and making sure that you uh, turn it off at the breaker to to uh, be sure you don't uh, electrocute yourself, and um, use a tester just to be sure that you've got the right circuit because a lot of times um, your circuit panel is not marked properly, and um, you know it's, it's kind of a guessing game to see which uh, which circuit's actually the one that controls the lights. So. Um, I'm going to go ahead and shut off the power right now before I go any further, um, and we'll get back to work. So I pulled them apart and uh, um, this is for the foyer um, and it's on a four-way switch so it's on a separate circuit um, so I had to turn two different circuits off to, to get this um, to not be powered anymore so I'm not going to be using this um, this circuit I'm going to be um, pulling from these two because these are the kitchen lights so I'm going to have it on the same circuit um, this is actually the, the, the power the hot lead from there actually I believe it's um, this wire right in here uh, that comes up and feeds uh, the rest of these um, circuits right here so um, I'm just going to be disconnecting from here and uh, I'll cut um, cut a, a hole out right here so that I can easily access all this and, and be able to fish a wire to this other side um, so I'm going to go ahead and do that
So now I have access to these wires here. It's still going to be difficult. I think I'm probably going to drill from this side. Um, I may take the um, hold down nails off to kind of give myself some space to be able to drill a hole through there because um, it's really tight quarters there and I don't want to nick any of these wires so um, yeah I'll probably disconnect this one here because it's kind of right in my way I don't know if you can see that but uh, you know, right in here I need to co I need to drill a hole right in this area right here to get across um, I have a 90 degree uh, chuck so I can probably drill this direction um, it might be a little too tight from this side um, so I might do that maybe I'll cut this hole a little bit longer um, to be able to get that in there so as you can see I had to um, make this a little bit bigger I had to go all the way to the hot water pipe um, to be able to get a drill in there um, even with my 90 degree drill bit um, or my 90 degree um, air drill that just barely able to get get it in there I'm gonna have to go kind of at an angle until I can get far enough in to where I can kind of level out but um, just uh, had to open it up but you know it's gonna be patched anyway and then there's gonna be tile over top of it so I'm not really too worried about having to patch that up so let me go ahead and put the air to this drill bit and we'll get started So I went outside and I found a piece of 14-2 um, to jump from one to the other. Uh, I'm just using existing, um, what existing wire is there. Uh, it's 14, 14 gauge, so I'm going to go ahead and use 14 gauge um, as a jumper. So let me go ahead and run that right now. So I just need to um, tie this down with one of the little hold down nails and then uh, connect it to connect it to the existing wire that's here and then I can keep put this in the box and then just hold it until next time until I need to actually um, power it up so I'll just leave it leave it closed off in here so that uh, I can get to it when I need to. But um, um, I can wire this up and, um, and close everything back up. Alright, so I just need to tack a new tack on this side to keep that keep that snug and then I'll tuck this away. I'll probably have a little extra. I don't need all that. So let me go ahead and get another tack and then we'll uh, tack that in and
So I got them all twisted together. I just need to clip it nice and neat on the end. And then go ahead and uh, put a wire nut on it. Okay, so I got the ground, I got the hot and uh, neutral all connected. Um, just gonna go ahead and put this back in. I'm just gotta kind of bend it and find a little home for each each wire because there there's a lot of wires in here and just trying to find a place for each one of them is really tight. Just put a little bit of tape on here to just protect it so it doesn't come loose. Since this will be live and I don't want to. But I found a cover outside. <clears throat> I can go ahead and cover this up so that it's just. That's protected. I can put the cover on there and then uh, get a piece of sheetrock and cover it up.